So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. Hmm. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by now. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Upward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> hey, careful, kid. Turn into it. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> Slip and slide! <laughs> Ugh. 
I'm gonna scout around. <sighs> Love this weather. Yeah, it's <laughs> humid. <laughs> Not damn <laughs> humid. Yeah, it's all relative. tracks. Someone came up this way. We're gonna do the same. up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, See? shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. And go. And no. That was a valiant effort. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. It definitely ruins from Avery's era. Do it. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Whew.
than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England. I'll be right back. Uh, Nathan? Yeah, e excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, you were saying? Um. Oh, right. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa, and they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Stay put. You got something, kid? Good. Let's go. How would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Life will seem to <coughs> Once you get there, we can move on. How long we posted yet? Thought orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. Waste of resources. Just put me in charge. Get the whole thing done in half the time. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. Say, a good thing. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here?
Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Easy. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Wraith? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Wraith's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. Um, hey, is that a well, uh, Victor, you were saying? Right. You don't mind me asking, how you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Maybe well, because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my... Ah, ah hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down.
Hey, look. Anything in that pit? Check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. Victor, you were saying? Right. I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> Check this out. I wonder if that's man-made or natural. Looks to me to be half and half. So we were talking about um oh, right. And the pirate says back. Ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Ah, <laughs> uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Get out, boys. What is it? Cool. Holy shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <laughs> Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. 
At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her too. Check this out. Sherline must have been here before. Find his keepers. Hey, be careful, kid. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up. Careful. Bingo. Sam, special delivery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm hmm. see you. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Get that bridge down. It's 
Try that again. <clears throat> Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <clears throat> this thing come with airbags? Parachutes? I'm not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. <laughs> you never tell your partner how much job it's really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be part of it. Shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <clears throat> Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. This is where we get off, kid. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Hmm. Can't get in that way. <laughs> 